This is Dan Meyer with RCR Wireless News. We're here at the 2011 PCIA show in Dallas, Texas, and I'm here with uh, Richard Byrne, CEO and founder of Towerco. Richard, thanks yep. so much for joining us this morning. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, maybe we'll touch on a couple topics. I know um, uh, the show has gotten uh, a lot of attention recently. I think the tower industry itself has gotten a lot more attention with a lot of the changes happening in the industry. Uh, maybe get your, your view on a, on a few topics. Um, I guess maybe a general overall view of, of the market, kind of how leases are going for you guys, how you guys kind of see maybe some trends in the, in the leasing space right now. Well, leases are doing fine. Um, what we're seeing is, and, and I think we're going to see for a while to come, is a lot of amendment revenue mm -hmm. as our existing carriers that are on our towers are uh, upgrading their networks to uh, to handle 4G traffic that's mm -hmm. uh, that's going to come. And I think you know until we get through that, which may be another year or two, um, that's where most of our new revenue is going to come from. And uh, you know we're, we're expecting that after that time frame, things will revert to a a, a more normal, you know, new leases and also uh, amendments on, uh, you know, from existing tenants and uh, and, and switch back to its uh, its more normal percentages. At least for a year or two until the 5G evolution comes out Yeah, at some point, too. So it's always good to get some normalcy, at least for a while. That, that so. has been the trend. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, maybe talk a little bit about, those, about the 4G uh, movement. I know a lot of the carriers are moving pretty aggressively into that space, and it does seem like it's perhaps an opportunity for a lot of tower companies to you know, if you can get some positive changes on some of those leases, um, it seems like it's maybe a, a good a good thing for, for some of the tower companies. What what are you seeing along those lines? Are you seeing a lot of carriers still being very aggressive in the 4G move? Um, is it still early, late? I mean, how do you, how do you guys see that general? Uh, I, I right think now? it's still relatively early mm -hmm. in, uh, in in the process, and I think they're hitting their uh, you know their highest traffic sites, and uh, we'll see the migration uh, path you know flow through um, to all the sites over mm -hmm. a period of time, um, not dissimilar to what happened with uh, you know 2G and 3G. Um, we're, we've all been around long enough to uh, to have seen this and, and how this plays out. And I, I think that, uh, generally speaking, this is good for the consumer, this is good for you know the carriers, and this is good for the tower industry. So I, I think, generally speaking, there's nothing uh, nothing negative coming out of anything that's uh, that's happening right now. Gotcha. Any sort of challenges uh, with that 4G deployment? Are you guys having any, any issues with, with getting back to some sites or anything like that? Or, or is it, has it gone fairly smoothly for, for you guys so far? Uh, I, I think for the carriers, getting back all to the sites has been a challenge, but I think they're they're working through it mm -hmm. and getting there. And PCIA has been very active, pushing a uh, trying to push a bill through uh, through Congress to make co-location mm -hmm. um, on existing towers um, zoning exempt, not not exempt building new towers mm -hmm. but if the tower is standing there and a tenant wants to modify their equipment or a new tenant wants to go on that tower being able to be exempt from zoning makes a lot of sense no different than if you build an office building and you put a new tenant in you don't have to go through the entire zoning process again and if we can do that that will help everybody yeah. in the entire wireless eco structure yeah are you, are you finding some good progress on that front because that has been something that's been tackled i think or trying to be tackled in in congress and, and pca working on it too uh, is progress being made on kind of helping out some of those siting issues and those uh, and, the, and the zoning issues with, with a lot of it, it, it's it's going to be a it's going to be a long process oh. but uh, right now we're uh, we're getting good traction we're part of the d block bill mm -hmm. On, uh, in both the Congress and, uh, and and in the Senate, and you know we're hoping that we'll we'll stay in there and uh, and this will be successful because this will be you know th this will really have a big impact for the consumer yeah. because it will bring them 4G faster and um, there's a lot of excess money spent um, on local zoning that really doesn't need to be spent mm -hmm. and it's a big cost to uh, to the carriers. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, Maybe touch a little bit, maybe on the on the capital markets issue. I know um, uh, in general the markets have been a little up and down recently. Um, uh, I guess, but how's that been impacting at, uh, the tower industry? I know you guys are very reliant on, on the capital markets. Uh, what's been your general view of how the markets have been reacting to to the tower space? I, I think generally speaking, the debt markets have been off across the board, yeah. especially with what's going on in Europe. Yeah. But um, the the tower industry has really been faring better than. Mm -hmm. um, uh, than, than the rest of the uh, than the rest of the world, I think. Um, you know, the numbers are off, but uh, just very. You know, 
uh, we're the tallest dwarf, I guess you could say, um, in, in, in that uh, in that industry yeah. um, or in the banking industry. And uh, I don't know the particulars, but I know American was out this week and you know in, in a terrible market and yeah. did very well mm -hmm. um, uh, raising uh, senior secured uh, debt. So I think, uh, and generally speaking, I think that they uh, the markets like the paper that we have. Yeah, yeah, it definitely seems like there's a lot of uh, growth potential down, down the road for, for you guys yeah, too. They, so I think, they, I think they view it as very, very safe gotcha. investment. Gotcha. And then maybe a quick uh, kind of a final uh, question on, I guess the show in general, I know this, this show is, seems to have gotten a lot more uh, interest over the past couple of years with, uh, you know, with the tower industry, with, uh, with the 4G builds and, and, the, and the importance of, of getting more, ta more tower sites out there for, for consumers and you know, with the demand for, for voice and data services. Uh, I guess in general, how has the show been, been uh, you think uh, received and, and do you think it's 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 still a very vibrant important part of this part of this industry yes I think the the show is a uh, is a very vital part and I think that the show is really you know over the last seven years I've really seen the show take on more of a voice yeah um, I think the industry association has done a lot to promote um, the interests of both the, the tower and the DAS industry mm -hmm. but also you know the interests of the carriers and uh, you know we're really starting to see you know great attendance come and uh, and every year the you know the show gets uh, gets much better and yeah. much classier and much bigger and uh, you know I don't think that we'll ever be CTIA we no, just don't have that uh, that scale but I think it's it's it, the, the folks at uh, PCIA have done a great job yeah. of, uh, of of taking this show to the right you know in in the right direction yeah makes sense great okay. well thanks so much Richard for the time today appreciate it thank you thank you all right this is uh, Dan Meyer with RC. Wireless News at the uh, PCIA 2011 event. Thanks.